In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you my favorite passing play in Madden 22. What's going on guys? My name is Cody and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, my channel focuses in on helping people become the best Madden players they can possibly become. And so if you're looking to get better at this game, I just want to encourage you right now to hit the subscribe button down below. It's completely free to subscribe to the channel and it just allows you to stay up to date with the latest tips and strategies that we release every single day right here on the YouTube channel. Now, guys, I'm in the Seattle Seahawks offensive playbook out of the shotgun bunch formation, and I am super excited to bring to you this mesh post play. Um, this is something that I've been working on a lot because I think that there's a way that you can actually run this play without really needing to do any adjustments. And we're going to show you how to do that in this video. And this is honestly, um, this is probably the best quick snap play in all of Madden 22 this year. Because literally, there's no, there's literally no adjustments that you need. Um, so we're going to give you two primary ways that I like to run this play in this video. But if you want to learn even more ways to run this play, and you want to learn my entire shotgun bunch offensive guide, I'm going to encourage you to grab that offensive guide that I released. Um, it's on the Seattle Seahawks playbook out of their playbook, the Gun Bunch, as well as some other formations that are on their way. But the thing I want to let you know about this Gun Bunch ebook is that it updates. So as the game gets patched. We're going to be updating our gun bunch guide with the latest and greatest tips and tricks or schematics that we want to use in our gun bunch offense. And I've also committed to putting other bunch formation or other bunch money plays in this. So if you wanted to run the Washington bunch, you've got plays that are specifically for Washington in the guide. If you wanted to run the Indianapolis bunch, the same thing. We break down double posts. We break down PA, uh, PA dig. Uh, we break down speed dig, spacing switch, all of those money plays from uh, Carolina. We break down Y curl. Um, so if it's not, it's not just Seattle. It's basically gun bunch. So if you want to learn how to run gun bunch, which is by far the best defense in the game or the best offense in the game, then you can get my full and complete offensive guide in the description of this video. It's just 15 bucks. All you got to do is head down to the description, click that little website link that I put right at the very beginning. And it'll take you right over to the website where you can get the, the uh, guide within like five minutes. It'll be emailed over to you and you'll be able to just start putting up 50 points a game with this incredible, incredible offense. So if you want to get the offensive guide, there's a link to pick it up in the description. So Mesh Post is what we're talking about in this video. And this play is so, so fun to run as a quick hike play. Um, so first and foremost, I'm just going to kind of run through a couple of coverages. The first coverage that I want to run through is Cover 3 Mabel. And the reason I like this so good against Cover 3 Mabel is because if you watch what's going to happen, um, this post route is going to absolutely kill Cover 3 over the top. Okay, super simple, real easy read uh, against the Cover 3 defense. Now, let's say, for example, that your opponent decides that he's going to try to take away the post route. Well, then what you're going to be able to do with this is you're going to be able to just take your underneath drag routes. Either one of them will get wide open and zone. And really, one of the things I wanted to really communicate in this video is that regardless of what the defense does, your drag routes are always going to be open. Even if they have hard flats, even if they have you know a couple yellow zones, I would tell you this year, especially this year, these routes are so good. Um, the drag routes in particular, so real quick, I'm just going to put... Um, some hard flats on the field and I just want you to watch how these drags will still continue to just work hard flats as you see right there it was no hard flat but he didn't stop the drag route that's a common common thing um, the other thing that I like about this is that these drag routes are going to do a really good job of pulling a lot of different coverages out of the way so that you can throw your seam wheel to your running back and behind it so if you take a look at this wheel route all you're gonna do um, and, and honestly, right here, we've got a little, he got a little bit hung up, but with your wheel route, what you're going to notice is that in this year's game specifically, this wheel route is really effective. Um, as I got a crazy, crazy a gap, thank you practice mode for making the sheds absolutely ridiculous. But, um, anyways, let me go over this again. So just take a look at this triangle receiver. Just pass lead him to the inside, and I'm getting kind of glitched over here on this right side thanks to the stupid drag. Um, you're going to have a lot more success with Christian McCaffrey and Mutt, but basically, let me just get the pass rush out of the way here so we can show you the route. But essentially, these drags do a really good job of holding the zones down, 
So you can just pass lead this to the inside right there. And as you can see, I can click on and make a play. Okay. Now, again, most people aren't actually going to run Mavel coverage to the bunch side, or I'm sorry, to the solo receiver side. What you're going to get a lot more frequently is you're going to get something that looks like this. So you're going to have like a hook curl and a hard flat or something along those lines. And the reason that I like this play against that coverage is if you take a look at this hook curl, you're going to see that he's going to basically vacate that area. And as you can see, that, that back becomes a really good read for you. So that's kind of cover three Mabel. There's a lot of different ways to beat it. Basically your drags are gonna always be open. So like if the user goes to the post, the other thing I didn't say is this year's game, you're gonna get a lot more three down lineman rushes. So you're not gonna get as much two man rush, which means it's gonna take a zone off the field for them to be able to put. And so this these drags become a lot more open because there's just not, you basically have to dedicate a user and four underneath zones to stop this. So let me show you what they would basically have to do. And that would be to essentially do something like this right here. So I've got two vert hooks and two hard flats. And I just want you to watch how these drags are still going to do a good job. But the other thing that's gonna do a good job is your running back route. As you see right there, when they start bringing so many people down to defend this play, you're gonna have easy reads up, you know, basically upfield. So not only are you going to be able to do that, but I'm telling you right now, these drags can be thrown at any point. So you're going to see here, I can also playmaker these drags upfield. If Brady can throw the ball, that'd be awesome. But I can easily just simply playmaker those drags up and down field as well. And then I want to show you this against man. And this is really, really good against man. The first thing that I like about this um, you know, when it comes to man-to-man -to -man coverage is that I can low ball this running back route, as you see right there, and basically have an instant man beater, regardless of the coverage. Um, you know, basically I just have not really had any problem this year throwing this route against man. Just simply low ball it when he cuts, and especially if you have backfield master on him, you're going to be very successful against man-to-man. -man. The next reads, uh, the next read for man-to-man -man is one of your drags. Almost always one of the two, one if not both of your drag routes will beat man-to-man -man this year, especially because most people don't play press. What they'll do is they'll press, but they'll shade over top. And the reason they have to do that is because if they don't do that, we'll just bomb them over the top with the play verticals. So as you can see, what they're gonna have to do in man coverage is they're gonna have to shade up, but your drags become significantly more open when they do that and as you can see you're able to beat man-to-man -man with both drag routes okay then the next thing is your tight end route um, this route doesn't always beat man but it does occasionally and as you can see right there you know worst case scenario you just throw it to him get a couple yards call it good but i will tell you you will be surprised at how good your tight end route is against man for example um like right here i'm gonna go to the mike blitz zero if they blitz you Look at this, I could just turn this up field and get an easy three to five yards. Real simple against man to man, okay? And then the last read on this for man coverage and particularly this circle receiver when he cuts the inside kills man this year. So, you know, typically their user is gonna be somewhere in that area, so you gotta kinda pay attention to that. One other little pro tip on this play is if you want a little bit better spacing, you can motion this post route outside but you will notice here that man coverage kind of bags him when you do that. Um, I don't know why. Honestly, I think it's kind of a finicky thing this year. Specifically, it's press coverage. But, you know, if you snap him here, you'll get a, maybe a little bit better inside position. And you can low ball that against man to man. But just be careful with that post route this year, especially if you want to motion him. Um, I just think it, it, it really does help, in my opinion, for spacing purposes. And it's a lot better against zone. But against man, you see, I mean, right there, that's that looked really good. But that was shaded coverage over top. So, you know, if they're shading coverage underneath on this play against man to man, you know, really, it's going to play much better. But it's not going to stop this play. Okay. So that's cover three Mabel and man coverage. And then lastly, I wanted to go over this play against match coverage. Um, match coverage, in my opinion, is something that is going to do okay. Uh, at stopping this but what you'll take a look here you see that the running back is going to basically get one-on-one -on -one match up there so if they don't have a good cover player there you can easily hit that uh, against match coverage also what you can do is you can low ball um, or not low ball but this is another little really cool little trick I like to do out of this so 
let's say for example they're not playing hard floods on the outside what you can easily do is just instantly snap and pass lead this to the left and as you can see it's basically like a snap throw i find that to be really really good um against a lot of different defenses and match is probably the best one so again you just snap look out there if there's nobody out there just throw it out there and get three to five yards it's real simple but it's really effective it also does good because um, if they man them up then you just wait another second and then low ball it so you've got an, a one to two read and then the last one that i wanted to show this against um, on this is this cover three so if they give you like a cover three blitz you just snap throw it and as you can see it kills the blitz that was a five man uh cover zero or cover three blitz let me show you a five man cover zero blitz now so same thing if they blitz you if that linebacker you just throw it out here and basically you just want to essentially pass lead this to the outside and it's going to be very difficult for them to just consistently stop this but as you can see right here it's just an easy five yards now let's say they go to mike blitz zero and let's say that you know they play that man to man let me just show you you can low ball this but it's a little bit tender so just kind of be careful about that um, typically if i get a blitz out of this these two drags are really good because their user has to cover the you know he has to kind of lurk over there the other read that i really like to use if i know that they're blitzing or maybe that i can suspect that they're blitzing i love a tight end out route this year against the blitz because as you can see it kills man and it will also kill zone um, so you have that op option as well but i mainly just wanted to show you this little quick throw here to the back i think this is one of the most underrated um, parts of this as you saw right there i mean just it's really hard to stop it and the other thing that you can do from this is let's say i go to let's say i put a hard flat out there watch this the hard flat will never intercept it you can just throw it and like that was a hard flat i shaded down and put him in a hard flat and it didn't work right that's the beauty of madden 22 for whatever reason a hard flat zone will get sucked inside almost every time so just snap throw it out there you see you're getting three to five yards of pop so what this is going to start to do is it's going to force force their user um, to have to go over there well if their user goes to the left now you've got this really nice little low ball on the right side that you can hit to the circle receivers so this mesh post play i could talk about this play forever um, i think this is really truly one of the best plays this year as you see there the post route beats match coverage so it beats every single defense in the game there's not a defense in the game this year that i've found that's very consistent uh, at stopping this play the other thing that I absolutely love is I cannot tell you how important it is this year to have these drags um, having two drags on one play make it so hard on the defense to play defense because I'm telling you right now one of these drags will almost always be there for you no matter what play you can easily check it down to a drag route um, if they're you know if they happen to be shading down then you know you can easily just playmaker the drag up this year and easily hit it you know for several several yards so this play is just a lot of fun i think that you know a lot more people should run this play just stock um, i don't think people really understand how good this route is to the back and you, how easy it is this year to just snap throw the ball um, against man covers let me just show you that initial snap throw so if i just snap throw it out there you see that i'll get that swat animation especially if that linebacker is in man coverage on him so if i see that that's why i say just wait and then low ball it right on the cut and that's probably the i don't know that normally doesn't happen to me um, especially with mccaffrey part of it's part of it's where you pass lead it so when you pass lead this on a low ball pass lead it to the inside or not inside and I'm, i think i'm throwing it a little bit too early uh, but basically you're just waiting for that defender to turn around and worst case scenario what you can do pass lead inside click on and i can just cut it off so that's another little tactic that you can use to kind of protect yourself a little bit but you know this play is so so dang good and again if they're not playing i mean you can snap throw you got a lot of quick throw options on this play um you know so just you know really a, a fun little play to run you've got really great underneath passing and then what I love about it is you have this post route that they have to guard with their user. If they don't guard this with their user, uh, you're going to hit this pretty much all day on them. So thanks for watching this video. Like I said, if you want to get my Gun Bunch offensive guide, it's going to be linked down in the description. Uh, it's just 15 bucks. All you got to do is head down to the description, click on that website link that I put down there for you, and you can go check out the offensive guide. Like I said, you're going to be putting up a ton of points with this. 
This offense is super, super hard. I think it's darn near impossible to completely lock up. So if you want the best offense in Madden 22, and I think you need the best offense this year because of how important it is not to give up a possession, um, I would encourage you to get this gun bunch. This gun bunch is lethal. And uh, if you want to learn the best way to run it, I put it all in the e in the ebook for you. So thanks for watching. And if you want to get that offensive guide, that is linked down in the description below.